身の術 What is going on, guys? Trainer Purple here. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Let's get into it. Sorry about that. I had to flex really quick. Today, we're going to be opening up the Spring Collection box. This box features the first partner Pokemon from Legends Arceus. This box will be an alternative to the Spring Treasure Chest. It looks like this, but rather than it being Celebrations themed, of course, it's going to be the alternative to this box. From what I understand, how these differ is this comes with a little bit more packs. So it'd be kind of like comparing the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box to the Standard Elite Trainer Box. I appreciate you guys tuning back in, checking out this new opening. Don't forget to leave a like. If you like this content, go ahead and subscribe. And also let me know in the comments uh, which one of these promo cards do you like. I'm really digging this Syndical. I can't wait to open that up and add that to my favorite. Binder. But before we get into the spring collection box, we're going to see which one has better hits. The single sleeves or the three pack hanger this is going to be a head to head. Let's go ahead and see. Alright guys, got those open. Single sleeves on this side, three pack hanger on this side. Let's see which one's better. So I just realized for the first two packs from each, I forgot to turn on my video. So we lost the first pack opening, but comparing the two, you didn't miss much. Both non hollow rare. Let's move on to the next ones. Actually recorded this time so from the single sleeves and from the three pack we got two hollows so right now it's been somewhat of a tie I guess that does show that it is random let's go ahead and move to the next one Yo, and talk about some last pack magic. So for both last packs, there were hits. Uh, this one in the trainer gallery spot, this one in the rare spot. I'm kind of a fan of the trainer gallery card a little bit more. Those colors are so awesome. This is by Akira Komayama. So this is a sweet card. I think my vote's gonna go for the single sleeves, but let me know down in the comments if this is what you were expecting. All right, guys, that was a good warm up. Let's go ahead and get into the spring collection box. This is a beautiful box. I think I might be leaning towards the cardboard box versus the treasure chest. A lot more recyclable. Don't have a lot of tin just hanging around, not knowing what to do with it. This packaging is nice. Beautiful, beautiful Arceus coin. And the first partner Pokemon starters. Let's go ahead and take a look at these closer. We have a gorgeous Oshawott by Kurumitsu. I love that artwork. A lot of these colors are very, very vivid, so they pop really well. Um, the hollow pattern is uh, no texture, but very, very nice. Oh, looks like it might have some hollow bleed as well. So nice, this is an error card. Next, we have the Cyndaquil by T-Zero. Uh, this one is actually my favorite of the three. Of course, a little bit biased because Cyndaquil is my favorite starter. But yeah, the artwork on this card is really nice. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for this. This looks very, very similar to the artwork on some of Soso's cards. The person that did that, Gengar, actually. But I'm really digging this. Uh, no hollow bleed on this one. Wish it had some, but yeah, this one's probably my favorite. Next, we have the Rowlet and speak of the Gengar. This actually is uh, by Soso -So as well. The person that did the Gengar alternate art over there. This looks really nice. Colors are a little bit more muted, but it gives it a nice vibe since it is at night. Really like these promos. All right, let's see what else is in here. Looks like we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs, three vivid voltage, two brilliant stars, an evolving skies and a fusion strike. That is a pretty nice set of cards there. I like all of these sets. So this is gonna be fun to open. At the bottom, 
And lastly, kind of like with the treasure chest, you have your stickers, stickers, more stickers. Oh, nice. Now this is something different. Usually there's like a notepad, but this is actually a booklet. I like that. I'll definitely be using this. There's like a texture to the to the outside of it. Yeah, this is nice. So right now, this collector's box seems to be beating the collector's chest, in my opinion. Comes with more packs and a lot less fluff. And this box is super recyclable, but I'm probably going to use this to store my bolt. This is cool. Let's go ahead and get these packs opened up. Any chance of PSA 10 now gone. Yeah, there's a pretty nice spread of cards. Let's go ahead and start with Fusion Strike. Still trying to get that alternate art Gengar you see over there. Or the alternate art or full art Mew. Uh, those are some nice cards. There's so many cards that are nice in this set, so as long as we get something. We have an Electric Energy. Glyscore, Centiscorch, Bug Catcher, Minin, Ball Toy, Corsula, Quillfish, Vulpix, a really nice Vulpix by Sekio, Durand in the reverse rare spot, and oh nice, a Pikachu V. So we're finally getting hits from Fusion Strike, who would have thought. Next we have the Evolving Skies pack. Looking for that Umbreon, Rayquaza, Sylveon. So many good cards in this set. Glad they gave this pack in here. Let's go ahead and open it up. I haven't opened up too much Evolving Skies, so I'm really excited to see what we get from this and also appreciate the art that's in this set. A Dark Energy, a Herdier, Scroll of the Fang Dragon, Floet. Ooh, a very cute Teddy Ursa by Zui. Mareep. Zerua, looking up at the stars. Tentacool. Hopip. Lotad in the reverse. And a Pinsir. All right, so we have three Vivid Voltage. I have three chances to pull that Rainbow Pikachu, the Rainbow Chunkachu. Let's see what we can get out of this set. Also, Amazing Rares are in here. Uh, so these will be fun to open. We got three. We have a Fighting Energy. Ooh, this Mighty Anna is really cool. By Aya Kasube. Mighty Anna in front of the moon. Beauty. Stone Energy. Tynamo by Soso. My favorite artist now. Your art was the prettiest art of all the art. I think. Clobopus. Wubat. Wishmer. Claymation Drillber. Ooh, a Sableye in the reverse rare. Sableye is one of my favorites, so this will be going in my favorites binder. And a, ooh, a Hollow Snorlax. This is dope. Oh, this is my brother-in-law's favorite Pokemon, or at least one of them. So this is a pretty cool card. Let's go with pack number two. We have a Fire Energy. Wash Energy. Sir Chester Bath. Hitmontop. Really cool art on that Hitmontop would be in the back there. Tynamo by Soso. Execute. Chatot. Clobopus. Skiddo. Duskull. And a very nice Lycan Rocks. Not a hollow, but this is a really cool, really cool artwork. This is by Anasaki Dynamic. That is really cool though. Yeah, that's one thing I really like about these uh, like collector's chests and different product like tins and stuff like that that come with multiple packs. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to open up some of the sets that I didn't get a chance to open up because I wasn't opening at the time. Um, Vivid Voltage has some pretty nice, uh, pretty nice chase cards and also I mean the art that I've been seeing on these cards are really cool. It's nice getting a change of scenery like this uh, Galvantula is pretty cool. Uh, Go Goat, Matang. Ninkata, Voltorb, very cute rock rough, Wishmer, Shrubbish, ooh, a real cool reverse rare Lucario, this is by Kodama, and a two cannon non-holographic. Alright, so we got through those Vivid Voltures pretty fast. Last two packs are going to be Brilliant Stars, looking for the Trainer Galleries, still have yet to pull that Flareon. Um, would love to get Sylveon, Umbreon, always appreciate a good Charizard. Uh, there's a Full Art Arceus, uh, so many cool cards in this set. Chase cards will be on the screen. Let's go ahead and get into these last two packs. Alright, 
four to the front. We have a Metal Energy, Magma Basin, Grotal, Claydol, Corefish, Magmar, Spiritomb, Burmy, Impidimp, ooh, no trainer gallery hiding a non-holographic Grim Snarl. If you have enjoyed this opening, don't forget to give a like. If you'd like to subscribe, see more of this content, go ahead and do that. Also comment and let me know which one of those first partner promos did you like the best. All right, last pack magic, Arceus pack. Um, this actually would be a good, a good product to start with if you um, are getting back into it. A lot of variety. We have a Torkoal, Double Turbo Energy, Probo Pass, Turtwig, Sneasel, Clink, Spiritomb, Axew, Axew in the reverse, hiding <laughs> Professor's Research. Alright guys, that's all the packs. Let's go ahead and do a quick recap on what we got today. Alright, so let's see what we got today. We got the very cool Reverse Rare Sableye from Vivid Voltage, one of my favorites. A nice holographic Snorlax from Vivid Voltage. The Pikachu V from Fusion Strike. The three promos, Oshawott, Rowlet, and Cyndaquil. Draco Vish coming from the three pack hanger. And the awesome Oranguru, so colorful, from the single sleeve in the trainer gallery. A lot of packs that I haven't opened up uh, from the set too much, so it was really fun seeing the different artworks that come in all these other expansions. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget, there is a lot of product coming out this month and also in the month of May, leading into the months of July. Take a look at my last video. At the end of the video, I've put together a calendar that you can take a screenshot of to remind you of what's coming up. Um, it's around the end of the video. It'll be linked at the end of this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.